Today we're going to take a look at version 5.3.6 of PosiTouch, uh, which we will begin installing in late 2011. Uh, you know, PosiTouch is such a feature-rich program, and previous versions have continued to add to that functionality, where uh, we believe that you can do just about anything you would ever want to do uh, with a restaurant point-of-sale system. Uh, it can be done with PosiTouch. Uh, version 5.3.6 has not been so much about adding functionality as it has simplifying existing functionality, uh, adding to the customization of PosiTouch so you can only you can restrict the system to only show you the options that you need and just hide everything else uh, and minimizing mistakes so that your managers, uh, bartenders, servers can, if they make a mistake, uh, undo that relatively painlessly. Uh, so let's take a look at some of the new features in version 5.3.6. Uh, the features we're going to look at are multi-selective items from the guest check. Uh, so rather than deleting items individually, you can just select all the items you want to delete and then delete them. Uh, Re-ringing of checks multiple times. Uh, in the past, you've had one chance after closing a check to reopen it and make adjustments. Uh, in 5.3.6, you'll be able to reopen that check as many times as you need to. Uh, multiple payment adjustments. So if a check is closed out to a wrong payment type, you now have multiple opportunities to correct that. Uh, same goes for tip adjustments as well. Uh, filtering reopen checks by server. This is great for bartenders, managers, anybody that sees uh, multiple employees' checks at once on the reopen check screen. If you've got a lot of open checks, that screen can get kind of cluttered. Uh, now you can filter that by individual server. Uh, review mode and reopen checks just takes less taps to see what items are on a check from the reopen check screen. Uh, a customizable manager screen. This one is really nice uh, at hiding things your managers don't need and kind of flattening out some of those structures so all the options they need are right there on one screen. The ability to edit separate checks. Uh, after a check is printed, you can still go back in and move individual items around on the, between separate checks. Uh, and finally, the ability to export reports directly to uh, Excel format, CSV format, which is great for importing into perhaps your accounting software or something like that, uh, or PDF format if you just want a printable view. Uh, so here we see the reopen check screen. Uh, and with our select server button, this is a bartender that's able to view several different servers' checks. Uh, if he wants to just view one server's checks, he would press select server, get a choice of those servers. On selecting one, would be able to see only their checks. Uh, so really just simplifies that process and helps cut down on the time it takes to find a, uh, a check to reopen. Uh, here we see review mode on reopen checks. Uh, a lot of times we find that servers know what items were on a check or know that it has a payment type attached. Uh, but they don't know, you know, they don't, may not remember the specific table number. Uh, review mode lets, lets them quickly see what items are on each of their checks without having to open them. Uh, here we see how you would configure your manager screen. Uh, you can just remove the options from the manager screen that you don't need and add some of the kind of sub levels from things like uh, uh, overringing a check. Uh, you can get specific overrings onto your manager screen so that here you've got only the things that you need. You've got transfer a check and combine checks, uh, the multi-check transfer that's been brought to the front uh, right here to this main screen. Uh, here we see the separate check edit button, which allows you after a separate checks, after separate checks have been printed, you can still go back in, select one of those checks, hit separate check edit, and it will take you to this nice bright yellow screen there uh, which lets you know that you're editing separate checks that have already been printed. Uh, you can just print the ones that have changed and it just really helps with your larger tables. You know, if you've got 12 separate checks, uh, it can save your servers a lot of time if they have to you know, move around one drink or something like that. Uh, and so those are some of the new features that will be coming in version 536 of PosiTouch.